Welcome once again to our midweek Bible study. In Psalm 46 and verse 1, Scripture says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. I want to remind you today that God promises to be with us in our difficult times, our difficult circumstances. God promises to be with you through the highs and the lows of life. Through the next few lessons that we have, I want us to look at some of those great promises, some of those great guarantees that God gives us for times of trouble. When we as children of God trust in him. And today I want us to look for a moment at God's promises when we're struggling with worry, when things are difficult and we have anxiety in our life. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25, it says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that Solomon in all his splendor was not dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall I eat or What will we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Every one of us from time to time has struggled with the problem of worry, really with the sin of worry. Worry disagrees with the promises of God, and our trust needs to be in him. And so first I want to begin by sharing with you a few of the promises of God about worry and about times of anxiety. In this passage we just read, Jesus tells us that he will provide for our needs daily. He'll provide for us one day at a time, what we need to eat, what we need to wear. God says, listen, I'm going to take care of you. Trust in me. In 1 Peter 5 and verse 7, Peter writes, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. There is the promise that Jesus is going to be with us. It's the promise of the presence of a compassionate friend. And over in Philippians 4 and verse 4 through 7, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all, uh, transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God makes us those promises. He says, listen, you don't have to worry. Instead of worrying, pray. And trust and walk with Jesus. I have a list of questions for us when we worry. Now this list is, list is not original with me and I don't remember where I got it. 
But it's some questions we can ask ourselves when we begin to worry. First of all, number one, have I prayed about this? We sing, what a friend we have in Jesus. And you know the words of that beautiful song that about how often we don't carry everything to God in prayer and oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear because we don't carry everything to God in prayer. Ask yourself when you worry, have I prayed about this? Prayer is a great strength in the time of worry. Secondly, do I believe what I say I believe? Do I really believe that God is watching over me? Do I really believe in his providence? Do I really believe in his protection? Do I really believe that he's the good shepherd? And when I start to worry, I need to ask myself, do I really believe what I say I believe? Thirdly, can I survive this with God's help? And we know that with God, all things are possible. Can I survive this with the help of God? Another great question, will this matter a hundred years from now? Is this really that important, what I am worrying about? And finally, am I making the most of today? Psalm 118 and verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Am I making the most of today? Jesus has already told us, Tomorrow will worry about itself, or tomorrow has enough worry of its own. One of my favorite teachers in Bible school when I was in college and at Oklahoma Christian University was Stafford North. He has uh, been a real encouragement to my life, and I took his homiletics class, his uh, preaching class, and he shared different outlines with us and things he had enjoyed preaching. And, and I remember getting these three encouragements about worry from him. And the first one, when we look at this passage of Jesus in Matthew 6 that we read, we ought to learn to value ourselves. Jesus says, listen, I'm taking care of the birds. I'm taking care of the flowers. Don't you think I'm going to take care of you? Don't you think you're more important than the flowers and the birds? Learn to value yourself. Learn to know how much you mean to God. Now, I'm not talking about arrogant pride. I'm talking about noticing and realizing how incredibly valuable you are to God, that he loves you and that he values you. And knowing your value to God will help you with worry. Value yourself. Secondly, we see in this passage that we ought to accept ourselves. Accept ourselves. He says, who by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Or some translations translate that who by worrying can add a single cubit to your cupid, uh, cubit to your stature. By worrying, can you make yourself any taller than you are? By worrying, can you make your life any longer than it is? Learn to accept yourself in the reality of your life. God is with you. You're valuable to him. And he made you the way he made you. Worrying is not going to change anything. Number three, Jesus encourages us to commit ourselves. He says, instead of worrying, seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Those things you were worrying about, your security, your clothes, your food. God says, I will take care of you. You make your priority, your constant thought, seeking first God and his kingdom. God has made us some very beautiful and wonderful promises. And because of that, you can know as God's child, you can value yourself. You can accept yourself in your life and you can commit yourself to him. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. God bless you. Ooh.